Now let's delve deeper to help you shoot like a pro. There are four basic components to a good photo. Exposure, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. The exposure is a picture that is created as light passes through the shutter opening when you press the shutter button to take the picture. If the exposure comes out darker or lighter for whatever reason when the flash was not used, you can use the exposure compensation feature to improve your image. The exposure compensation feature can be used in most of the creative zone modes. Hold down the AV plus minus button or the aperture composure compensation button and turn the dial to the right for increased exposure to help make the image brighter. Turn the dial to the left for decreased exposure or to make the image darker. The next component to your photo is the aperture. The aperture is the opening of the lens. This opening expands and contracts to regulate how much light passes through the lens. Aperture size is usually measured in f-stops. You can see these numbers on your camera's lens. The higher the f-stop, the less amount of light can enter the camera. The lower the f-stop, the more light enters the lens. Depending on the lens, the maximum f-stop or aperture will vary. Adjusting your camera's aperture can help you get better control of your photo's depth of field. Depth of field is the range of distance in the photo that appears sharp and in focus. Some photos will have deep focus, where the full image is sharp, and others will have shallow focus, where the image in the foreground is sharp and the background is blurry. A large f-stop equals a shallow depth of field, and a small f-stop equals a wide depth of field. You may want to play with the image to obtain the depth of field you desire for the specific shot. You can preview the depth of field before you take the picture using the Depth of Field Preview button. Now let's say you want to take a picture of something or someone in motion. With an EOS Rebel camera, you can take gorgeous freeze-frame shots. That's where shutter speed comes in. The faster the shutter speed, the quicker your camera captures the image. Adjusting to a faster shutter speed, such as 1 2 1,000th, will allow you to take beautiful pictures of fast-moving objects and make them appear as if they are frozen in motion. You can adjust the shutter speed while either in the manual exposure mode or the shutter priority AE mode. The slower the shutter speed, such as 1 8th, 1 15th, or 1 30th of a second, allows you to show motion. This is great for showing movement, such as a waterfall. Tip. When using slow shutter speeds, the use of a tripod is recommended. Want to capture gorgeous imagery in low light conditions? The ISO speed is your camera's image sensitivity to light. Change the ISO speed to accommodate for your light sources. Low ISOs from 100 to 400 can be perfect for shooting in the sunny outdoors. Increase your ISO to 400 to 1600 or higher for photos you want to take in overcast skies or during the evening when the sun isn't so bright. And finally, use the highest ISO setting, 1600 to 12800 for taking dark indoor photos or photos outside at night. Keep in mind that the higher the ISO, the farther your flash range will extend. Now that you have some basic photography techniques under your belt, let's learn about the shooting modes that are available to you on your EOS Rebel camera. Set your shooting modes with the mode dial. The mode dial includes basic zone modes and creative zone modes. Think of your basic zone as your autopilot. Scene Intelligent Auto is your camera's fully automatic mode. You simply press the shutter button and the camera adjusts the shutter, the ISO, the aperture, and the exposure based on what is in your frame. The camera can also detect if a subject is moving or still and adjust the focus accordingly. To shoot in scene intelligent auto mode, simply aim any autofocus point over the subject. The autofocus points will be used to focus. Generally, the closest point to the camera will be the most in focus. Most of the time, you would need a tripod to shoot night scenes but your EOS Rebel camera can make it easy for you to shoot these images while holding your camera. Turn your mode dial to special scene mode and press the Q button on your camera or select the Q icon in the lower left corner on the screen. Select the preset shooting mode icon that appears in the upper left corner and select the handheld night scene icon from the shooting mode options. Press the set button 
the camera will now take four photos continuously when you press the shutter button. The images will come out brighter with reduced camera shaking. You can also use the handheld night scene mode to take portraits of people. The four consecutive photos will give you a chance to select the best one from a series. But you should turn on the flash for the best results when utilizing this mode for portraits. When you shoot a scene that has both light and dark areas, you will want to utilize the HDR backlight control feature found in the shooting mode options and the special scenes mode. When you press the shutter button, three consecutive photos are taken at different exposure levels. The camera will composite these three images together to produce one final shot with a proper light-dark balance. Tip: When you are shooting a photo utilizing the HDR backlight feature, you will want to make sure you hold the camera steady to help ensure that the final image is properly aligned. In the creative auto mode, you can select the background blur simulation effect to create realistic blurred or sharpened backgrounds. You can even preview these effects before taking the picture. Look in your live view LCD screen to check the depth of field. You can select how sharp or how blurry you would like the background to appear. When you are happy with your images, press the shutter button. Now that you have mastered the basics, let's move on to using the Creative Zone modes. Creative Zone modes allow you to change your camera's basic settings in order to get more creative with your photography. These modes give you more control when you shoot various subjects. The P setting on your mode dial allows the camera to automatically set the shutter speed and aperture to adjust for the subject's brightness. As you look through the viewfinder, press the shutter button down halfway. The autofocus points for focus will turn red briefly. The focus confirmation light will light up. The shutter speed and aperture will set automatically for you. Want to take a picture of a person or object in motion as we discussed earlier? The TV setting or shutter priority AE mode on your mode dial allows you to easily freeze action or create a motion blur in your photos. Turn the dial to the right for a fast shutter speed, or to the left for a slow shutter speed. The aperture will be automatically set. If the aperture display blinks, turn the dial until it stops blinking. Tip: To freeze the motion of a subject that is fast moving, use a fast shutter speed such as 1 2,000th of a second. To blur something like running water, use a slow shutter speed, maximum 1 30th. We recommend using a tripod to obtain the most steady images. Next, the AV setting, or Aperture Priority AE mode, on your mode dial allows you to change your subject's depth of field. You can utilize this function to make everything in your photo blurry, blur out the background or foreground, or make everything in your photo really sharp. Set the desired aperture by turning the dial. Remember, the higher the f-stop, the wider the depth of field for a sharper image in both the foreground and background of the photo. Lower the f-stop to control the parts of the image that are in and out of focus for a more sophisticated photo. Keep in mind that the higher the f-stop, the longer the shutter speed, so you will want to keep your hand steady or use a tripod. Depth of field can also vary depending on the camera lens you are using. Now let's advance to manual exposure or your camera's M feature on the mode dial. You can set the shutter speed and the aperture manually as you desire to obtain the shot you are looking to achieve. To set the shutter speed, simply turn the dial. To set the aperture, hold down the AV button and turn the dial. Now, focus the subject and take the picture. While you're in one of the creative zone modes, you can also manually set your ISO speed. In the basic mode, your ISO is auto and can't be changed. To change your ISO speed, press the ISO button on your camera. Then press the cross keys to select the ISO you want. Want to add some cool effects to your photos? Creative filters are a quick way to add a little style without having to utilize a photo editing program on your computer. You can make your image appear grainy or black and white for a retro effect, soft focus, fish eye, art bold effect, watercolor painting effect, toy camera effect, and miniature effect. 
You can apply these effects live as you view the image in the LCD before you even take a shot. Or in playback mode, you can add these effects once the picture has been taken. Another way to add style to your photos is with your camera's built-in picture styles. You can adjust the way the photo will appear by selecting the style that's appropriate for the shot. Select Auto for automatic adjustments for the specific scene. Colors in nature will look especially vivid. Select Standard for vivid colors and sharp images. This works well for most imagery. Select Portrait for nice, even skin tones and soft images, perfect for close-ups. Select Landscape for very sharp images, vivid blue skies and lush greenery. Select Neutral or Faithful if you prefer to avoid these adjustments and edit them later with photo editing software on your computer. This setting works well for natural color and subdued images. Select Monochrome if you would like to capture a black and white image. Now let's focus on focusing. In your camera's basic mode, the focus is automatic and will generally focus on the closest subject to the camera. But sometimes you may want to focus on something else within the frame. To set the autofocus to your desired subject, set the lens focus mode switch to autofocus and set your camera to one of the creative zone modes. Then press the AF button. For one shot, hold down the shutter button halfway. The focus will then lock. The autofocus points will light up to show you that it's in focus. For moving subjects, the best focus setting is the AI servo. In autofocus mode, select AI servo. When you press the shutter button down, the focus will adjust automatically for each picture you take of a moving subject. Now let's say you're taking a series of shots of a still subject, say your dog. Then all of a sudden your dog runs towards a branch. No problem. Set your camera to AI focus mode to automatically shift between one shot and a moving shot. Did you know you can also select the autofocus point on your camera's viewfinder to easily set your desired area of focus? Here's what you do. Simply press the autofocus point selection magnify button and use the cross keys or camera dial to select the autofocus points. Press set to toggle the autofocus point between the center and the autofocus point selection. Now aim the selected autofocus point on your viewfinder at your subject and take the picture. Let's say you want to get even more creative. With your EOS Rebel camera, you can easily control when and how many photos are taken. For one shot, just hold down the shutter button once. This is ideal for subjects that are stationary, such as when you are photographing a beautiful sunset. For fast action, like capturing sports, your camera is capable of continuous shooting. To switch from single frame shooting to continuous shooting, press the drive mode button or by selecting the drive mode feature on your camera's LCD screen. You can use this mode to set a self timer to delay when the photo is taken. You can choose a delay of either 2 or 10 seconds. You can also set up the self timer to take continuous shots. So you want to take the most natural looking photos as possible, right? Achieve this simply with the correct white balance. White balance is the camera's function that adjusts the image's overall color tone so that images appear as natural as they can be. While in creative zone modes, select white balance, either by pressing the white balance button on your camera or by selecting the white balance feature on your camera's LCD screen. The white balance screen will appear. Use the cross keys or turn the dial to select the proper white balance. Then press set. The approximate K value will be displayed for the white balance settings. K, or Kelvin, is the measurement system used for white balance. This is the color temperature which your camera reads. Your camera can automatically set the proper white balance for the specific shot, but if for some reason the proper setting cannot be obtained, you can set it yourself by shooting a plain white object. While some photographers prefer to use the traditional viewfinder to find the perfect shot, you may prefer to use the LCD screen as your viewfinder. This is one of the many benefits of utilizing a digital SLR camera. This method of photography is called live view shooting. You can access the live view shooting option by pressing the camera button on your camera. Your camera's features in the live view shooting mode work the same as in the traditional shooting mode. But by default, continuous autofocus, as we discussed a few minutes ago, will take effect. 
The camera's live view will closely reflect the actual brightness level of the image you want to capture. There are plenty of times when you will want to utilize the camera's live view shooting option. Let's say you're a guest at a wedding and not just attending as a photographer. You want to capture it all, but you don't want to miss out. Photographing the event using the live view option lets you still be part of the action without having to bury your nose in the traditional viewfinder. Now it's movie time. Did you know your Canon EOS Rebel camera is also great at capturing video? Lights, camera, action! It's time for your camera to take center stage. Since movie files can take up a lot of space, it's a good idea to select a large capacity SD card, rated SD speed 6 or higher. If you use an SD card with a slower speed, the movie may not record or playback properly. You should note that the sound recording level is adjusted automatically, but you also have the option to manually adjust the recording levels. Now get ready and action! Start by turning your camera's power switch to the movie setting. Set the movie shooting mode to anything but M. By default, the camera's movie servo autofocus is set so that your subjects will always be in focus. Start recording by pressing the movie button on your camera. You will see a red circle in the upper right hand screen. To stop recording, press the movie button again. Now, just like still images, you have different options when it comes to movie resolution. The movie recording size option allows you to set the movie's image size and frame rate, which is how many frames are recorded per second. You can select from the following image sizes. 1920 by 1080 is full high definition quality. This has an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. 1280 by 720 is standard high definition recording quality. The aspect ratio will also be 16 by 9. 640 by 480 is standard definition recording quality. This aspect ratio will be 4 by 3. Let's talk a little bit about frame rates now and best standards for specific countries. 30 or 60 frames per second is standard for where the country TV format is NTSC. Countries include North America, Japan, Korea, and Mexico. For areas where the TV format is PAL, such as Europe, Russia, China, and Australia, 25 or 50 frames per second should be used. For professional motion pictures, 24 frames per second is optimal. So you have recorded your feature, and now you want to see how it came out. To play back your movie, Press the playback button. Shuffle through your images until you find the movie you wish to play back. You can play your movie using the buttons on the camera by hitting set, then play on your EOS Rebel camera, or by hitting the top cross button and then set. You can pause the movie by hitting set again. On some models, you can also play back the movie by using the LCD touch screen. Simply touch the play button that appears in the center of the screen and your movie will play. To pause your movie, tap the screen again. Since your EOS Rebel camera records in high definition, you can also enjoy playing back your video directly on your high definition TV screen. You can purchase an HDMI cable, sold separately, to connect your camera directly to your TV screen or computer for easy viewing. Are you ready to look beyond? You took a glimpse inside your new Canon EOS Rebel camera, its important features and buttons. You now have a good handle on image quality, focusing, playback, exposures, ISO, aperture, shutter speeds, shooting modes, and more. You even learned about filming movies. So are you ready? What do you see? No, what do you really see? Go ahead, explore, look beyond, see the beauty, and capture it.